Hey, what is up YouTube? This is Merman Master. Coming at you guys from the Team Time Riders U YouTube channel today with another deck profile. And uh, this deck profile is going to be uh, actually in honor of the recently reprinted uh, Watt Giraffe. Now, uh, if you guys don't know, this card originally came out in Shining Darkness. It's taken it years to get reprinted. And so today I have an epic, awesome Watt deck. Uh, it's a pure hopper stun slash uh, damage deck. I'm going to call it Captain EO's Epic Awesome Watt deck. So guys, let's get ready and let's get down to things. So because this is a pure profile, I'm not running um, barely any of the uh, the other like Thunder types of stuff like that. And I thought about putting some other stuff in, but uh, here we got it. It's just the main deck right now. Nice for casual play. Two copies of Watt Giraffe. Uh, Watt Giraffe is a great card um, that basically... So, one of the things to know about all the Watts is that most of them can attack your opponents directly, and when they attack directly, uh, certain things happen. So, for instance, Watt Giraffe, when he attacks directly, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of your turn. Um, of course, with Watt Giraffe, we have the next card in here, three copies of Watt Cobra. And uh, when this card attacks directly, you basically get to add any Watt monster from your deck to your hand. Um, some of these old cards, as you guys may or may not know, are... Uh, None once per turn. Old 5Ds era cards. Next we've got two Watt Pheasant. Uh, this card is actually really awesome because when it attacks um, and inflicts battle damage, you can target a face-up monster your opponent controls and banish that monster. And this is great if, you, um, if you've like popped your opponent's back row and you're attacking into something and like you attack directly, banish a Dingirsu for instance, all of its materials will detach off of this card. So that's what uh, Pheasant is actually very, very good for. Um, or just pretty much clearing the field for other monsters that you have coming in. Of course, the uh, cornerstone of this deck is three copies of Watt Hopper. And uh, Watt Hopper was one of the best lock cards for a pretty long time uh, because it basically says that uh, your opponent cannot select a face up, uh, another face up Watt monster as an attack target or target them with card effects. So, uh, really, really cool card to run in here. Um, some people have suggested taking a look at uh, Scrum Force, which hopefully I might take a look at in the future to see whether or not that would be good for a Watt Hopper lock, but right now we've got what we got. Next, we've got three copies of Watt Dragonfly. Uh, if it's destroyed by an opponent's card, either by battle or card effect, uh, it doesn't even need to go to the graveyard. You can special summon a Watt monster from your deck. Uh, great if you have this and Watt Hopper out, uh, just to be able to get your monsters out. Final Thunder monster we've got in here is three Thunder Seahorse, just a uh, really good search card for all your low-level Watt monsters, and two Fossil Dynapathocephalo round out the main deck. Moving on to spells. Uh, so you don't do too much special summoning. We've got three copies of Pot of Duality in the deck. Uh, just helps with searching and the like. Uh, two copies of Moon Mirror Shield helps your Watts beat over different things. Uh, not going to be running the brand new Watt Train card because uh, as excited as I was for that card, it ended up being just you know, not even a bone thrown to Watt Monsters, and it doesn't fix any of the main problems that this deck has. So I decided to uh, leave it out for this particular profile, though I am open to revisiting it if, uh, if things change and we can find more combos. Two copies of Messenger of Peace. Still a very, very potent card. It's a continuous effect that uh, you're capable of turning on and off uh, at your will. Uh, but this allows you basically to stop your opponent's monsters with 1,500 or more attack. Most things just negate activated effects. So if you can get this spell card onto the field, uh, you're in a pretty good um, position and you force your opponent to deal with it before they take out some of your Watt monsters or their other cards. Speaking of uh, dealing with uh, spell and trap stuff with the recent uh, limiting of a whole bunch of stuff in the push towards Lightning Storm. Uh, we're seeing an old favorite back again, guys. And I don't know if you guys remember this card, but it's Forbidden Lance. Um, decrease the attack mo of your monster by 800 and it becomes unaffected by spell and trap cards. Also great for your opponent's monsters when they activate specific cards that require their monsters to be on the field. And you'd be surprised at the usefulness of Forbidden Lance even in this day and age. Uh, it certainly surprised me and it's definitely surprised several of my opponents. Two copies of Photon Lead, very good card. Um, special summons a light monster from your hand. Uh, great for getting out your hoppers and whatnot. Speaking of cards that are great for getting them out is one for one. Uh, discard one monster card from your hand to grave, special summon a level one from your deck. 
Now, this one is a personal tech card. However, uh, most normal people would probably want to replace this with like Monster Reborn or something else like that. But I've got Shuffle Reborn in here. I kind of like this card because it's um, uh, you special summon a monster. Uh, it affects its, its effects are negated, and then you banish it during the end phase. But uh, if you banish it from the graveyard and then target a card you control, you can shuffle that card into the deck and then draw a card. So this is really, really awesome, actually, for uh, some of the specific plays that you have with some of your um, certain like continuous spells and stuff like that. If you need to revive uh, specific floodgates on the board that are, are causing you a little bit of trouble, uh, Shuffle Reborn comes in and says, hey... Here's an out to that that still allows you to use it later uh, in the game. And you can continue to use your different Watt monsters for whatever you want. Uh, one copy of Necro Valley, uh, one of the cards that you would take out for, uh, or that you'd bounce back to your deck with Shuffle Reborn to draw a card. Um, very, very good card, but uh, prevents some um, uh, graveyard effects and stuff like that. And then finally, Upstart Goblin to close out the spells. Moving on to the trap cards, guys. We have three copies of Lose One Turn. Very, very good card. Um, not a lot of people run in, you know, in this time and date and all of that kind of stuff. Um, negates and effects of monsters the turn that they're brought to the field. And this is all effect monsters. And with the recent, uh, you know, with the recent preponderance of whole large numbers of effects and special summons and, and chains and different things like that, having a card like lose one turn is incredibly helpful for stopping your opponent from doing um, some of their craziest plays that they, they would have in mind. So that's that. Rivalry of Warlords, pretty self-explanatory. Um, banishes the... Uh, or uh, forces you to only have one type and one attribute on your side of the board, which is not even too much of an issue anyway because pretty much all your lot monsters are like this. Do note though, uh, even though this is the case, the de the card that hurts this deck is uh, is there can only be one. One bottomless trap hole, a nice old tech card that I have a soft spot for. Uh, definitely really great and your opponent won't see it coming. Uh, there are some stuff that has uh, destruction uh, protection on it, so you gotta watch out for that. One copy of Solemn Judgment, pretty self-explanatory. And finally, a single infinite impermanence to negate effects that do not target that would move the um the monster away and this is actually great for uh for negating both monsters and spell cards which is probably why it's so expensive i ended up pulling mine um rather than rather than going online and purchasing it but uh, if you activate this in a zone that a spell or trap card is activated in the same column line um then you can negate that spell or trap in addition to negating whatever monster is in that column so really really cool card and uh definitely recommended um if you if you do have a copy of the card but if not um really don't know what else to say uh so guys that's going to do it for our deck profile here uh for the EO, uh, captain eos epic awesome watt deck uh, if you guys like this deck profile uh give me a like comment and subscribe to the team time riders Yugi tube channel but this has been the Mermail Master, and I'm signing out. Catch you guys next time. Peace.